by the god to become a league pro. Uh, yeah, he came out of this guy and said, God bless you, Scar. And do you know, want to know who that person was that came out of this guy? It was Fireboy X. He anointed me as this, the savior of League of Legends, and then I failed. I was sacrificed for my sins. Man, with all the play, like all this stuff. I don't even care. I don't want to play any of this. Okay, I know what I want to play. There we go. Perfect champion. Ooh. Only bad options. Don't want to deal with that. Hmm. Huh. Whoops. Lost one damage there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play Talon. I, I actually wanted to really see how good this champ was. I'm gonna go 15 AD MR and health. Uh, just a very standard rune page for Talon. I'm gonna go just straight down some CDR, some AD, uh, pick up exposed, dangerous game. One point the Warlord, not more. And I'm gonna go down the defense tree because you really don't need the uh, mana regen from, uh, from utility. Did I read the Harry Potter saga? Yeah, of course. Can't even call myself a reader if I didn't read that. Holy shit. Three, six, ten. Ugh. I have to do an unoptimal play here. messed up holy shit six uh should still be fine that was a little that's such a greedy Ooh, can't end my turn whatever oh. there we go cyber project four thank you for subscribing man i'm against a talon Renekton Brom. Hmm. Might not be that good. Uh, luckily, we have, we have a decent amount of magic damage here and some true damage, so I'm not really too worried about uh, what we can do. The difference between Twitch and Dignet. It's just, I, I linked to Dignet to try to give them hits because I'm sponsored by them. Or not sponsored by them, they're like my my thing. Ooh. Four. Holy shit. Let me, let me actually like, think about this. For sure, I'm slamming that into there. Three, four, six. Six, four? Okay, that's fine. Is that really the best play, though? Four, two. No, I would rather do this. Oh, I'm against Poe Belcher and C9 High. He played Nocturne. Interesting. California Trolls. I don't remember who this Braum was, but I'm guessing he's a Smurf because something kind of seems a little bit off. Uh, base, please. Really? Huh. Okay, whatever. I'm the flood. <sighs> if he has double swipe, I can get like blown out here. Like down this double swipe would definitely blow me out. Uh, but I'm hoping he doesn't have that. Uh, I'm gonna go flask here because I think flask is just the best build. There's a chance I can go uh, deep 
uh, Longsword 3, but I feel like it's not an optimal build. Holy shit, Paul Belcher. Okay, I. That's just as bad. What, what just happened here? He's gonna slam here. And. I just need a hex or like a earth shock or a lava break. Like I'll take almost anything. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not a greedy man. I can't believe these straws though. Holy shit! I'm so bone. Face. Okay, good. Okay, bad. Face. God bless. I don't even know if that's good for me. Holy shit, please give me something good. Oh god, I ended up jumping my lane. I don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure I just lose this game. Uh, there's a way I, I don't, but it, it kind of required me to pay attention to the game. I'm just going to concede. I want to focus on the league. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately I pushed the lane up a bit. Oh, he's got boots? No, he's just running move sequence. It's interesting. Okay. Fine. You see, I'm, I'm not opposed to taking a lot of damage. Because the thing is, I have pots, and I can just use them as a way to get through some stuff. Uh, Pope is playing his lane really smart, though. Pretty much, I'm forced to, to shove a little bit. Because I missed my first W, and he just wants to freeze it kind of near his turret. It makes it extremely hard for him to get, to get ganked, and I have to just try to push it out. Ow. Fine. But yeah, unfortunately, the, the wave is just in a very bad spot for me. Huh. The jungler here. Let's finish this quickly. Mm. I got so greedy for this. Whew. Let's never do that again. I should honestly be okay just giving up CS, especially if I shove early. It's not a big deal for me. So he's still got full pots, and unfortunately, I've used four of mine, so I've not been doing a good job with uh, pot management this game. I'm gonna let, let mid lane shove back against me now. Probably gonna thin it a little bit. I hit him there. I thinned it a little bit, but still shoving. And that's this is the the dream, right? Like he pushes toward you, but it's not like a complete wave. And so Popo just like, okay, so I gotta shove it back. Uh, I don't think he can do it in time though. I pretty much I could freeze this wave pretty. Just a freeze. Fine. One tower shot, get the last hit, perfect. Man, are you kidding me? Uh, why would he throw the cocoon like that? Ooh. Okay, well, we lost a free kill. I'm pretty sure he could have gotten that for free. Oh well, it's not a big deal. He, he did a good job looking for the gank, though. Holy moly. God, I wanted to get that kill, too. But he might get a double here, actually. Notice I'm not looking, because I don't really care. Either he gets the kill or he doesn't. My focus is just on jumping the lane and getting the last hits. Holy shit, if I had Ignite here. If, if I don't have Ignite. 
to it back. I, I honestly don't want to stay for that. Just because I feel like there could be... I, I just need this back time in more than anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the C9 bot lane. Like, they shit stomp every lane I'm against, and then when I play against them, come on. When I play against them, it's or they're on my team, like this happens, man. Come on. Come on. We go ahead and ward up here. I actually think it's it's really bad for me. Oh, I'm gonna do it anyways. I think that's not an optimal ward against certain champs. Wait for him to throw that. So he has no no pots. All I have to do is thin the whiff and then wait eight seconds. Oh boy. Three seconds. How the full wave. Oh, he got when he warded that. It's unfortunate. So, so the thing about TF is that he doesn't have very good dueling properties. Mainly because when he hits six, he doesn't have an ulti that does damage. It's an ulti that like it's a mobility ulti. So what you gotta keep in mind when you're playing this matchup is just there's a couple of ways to play. Either you like there's really no way to deny mid CS. Mainly because he has like one thousand range just, like uh, abilities to pick up CS. So I just want to keep it like this. And have him either shove against me a slightly, but I want to just keep it in the middle as much as I can. Getting hit by cards in max range is pretty bad. So make sure you dodge them. Yeah, all you have to do is look at the champion. Where he comes out from is like the big tell. Mid 6 and 1 creep. So mid got that. Okay. Yeah, now he has blue, there's no way I can deny him. Like there's no possible way I can. Why well, I have a feeling Nocturne's nearby. You see, I'm not looking to play too aggro because I just have a feeling that Nocturne can kill me whenever he really wants to. Okay. Ooh. The way Popolder throws cards, he tries instead of trying to hit you with the middle card, he tries to hit you with the side card. It makes it so you can't watch where he's where he's throwing the card because it doesn't give you that much information, which is actually really really smart. To hide. It's fine. I baited that by the way. I just tossed it away to, th to use an actual ward. Ooh. Bad rake. Bot lane's dead, I think. Oh my god, he got baited. That's fine. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get more than, than two, but I'll settle for two. The biggest thing is I just want Tiamat, because it let me, lets me shove so hard. I have to go for it, so I'm actually doing pretty well in this lane right now. Off the Elise gank, he really helped me out there. Top lane's getting... 2-1. Not good for top lane. Hoping he's able to pull it back himself though, because it's going to be just really hard for anyone else to recover that lane for him. Uh, the next item I want to go is probably just straight to... Hmm. Mobis. I think Mobis are really, really strong. And it's something to keep in mind when playing this champion is that he's a very roam-centric. I'm actually surprised High ultied when he was here. Like, I expected High to be down here ulting in, but he just wanted to stop me from going on uh, the TF. 
So I guess it's smart. So right now when you get TM out, all you have to do is W and then you TM out proc in the middle of the wave to kill a backline. It's actually really important. It's really simple too, and you don't use much mana for it either. Got it. Man, are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? If I had to pink it, I'm gonna pink it. So right now, I'm just gonna shove in midwave. Oh wow, I didn't get a team map rocking the back, back line. That's bad. And I look for bot. I'm just gonna come for this. This is easy. Oh holy shit, maybe not so easy. Oh, I wish I could do go into that. Man. Holy shit. This guy is big. Please send aid. Okay, just keep running. They are strong. Our, my, our bot lane is so weak right now. I think that's one of, one of the biggest things. Is that our bot lane is so far behind? It's very hard to be able to uh, to really fish for anything. Snip back. He's not gonna pressure too deep. He might try to stall my back, but yeah, guess not. Uh, next thing I want to get is just pieces. Uh, actually, oh, I can't even sell. I should. I need mobies. Game, losing this dragon is going to cost us like the game. Uh, we, we just had such a chaotic team fight. They won't survive. Yeah, it's just they lost drag. Losing drag right now is really, really big. Like they, uh, I feel like they buffed dragon gold for no, no reason. And now there's no way we can actually... Uh, like when you're behind and you lose a dragon, it's crippling for your team. If you lose two, the game is already over. That's how I feel the game is at this point. It's really, really bad to play on, I feel. As a spectator, uh, it's okay, because it forces more dragon such fights, but definitely as a player, it's like, uh, okay. You, you, cut, you go into some really bad situations sometimes. 95 CS, how is, oh, 89. He's already got his large rod. Wonder if they're gonna try to bait this. Lulu's here. I'm down to get baited. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely wasn't worth it. Hmm, trading one for one is not worth it when you're... Actually, if they're ahead, it might be. Uh, how much armor do they have? Not much right now. Kind of really wish I had brute gold, but I don't. Ooh, that's fine. Wow. Ooh, that's also... Hello? Not bad. Ooh! Okay, Renekton's pretty strong. Really strong right now. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, it's good. That's a long ass fight mid lane though. I'm gonna go ahead and have him push this up. But I'm gonna look for something more greedy. I think there's a chance that I can catch Lucian here. I think if there is a chance I catch Lucian, then it's a free 500 gold spree. No, there's no way. Okay, it's fine.
This might be really greedy. And by might, I mean it is really greedy. Oh shit, he saw me in there for two. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They just warded. Whew. Got their blue and got out. And so I'm, look I'm looking right now for many uh, uh, armor pen items. So I have my Tiamat, which is really, really strong. And that's on my my closure, like it helps me combo, all this stuff. And finishing the Tiamat, it does nothing but gives you sustain. Like it gives you some AD, but it's more important to get the armor pen from other items, in, in my opinion. So right there, I was okay not silencing anything else, but getting uh, some good damage on Pobalter. Mina really actually kind of farmed. They won't survive. Oh, okay. I, I shot my W the other way because I wanted to get the kill for that, but or I wanted to stop him from running away, but he just accepted his death, which is fine. Uh, which is not what I expected. Oh, this is guys. Careful, 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 careful. Oh my god. He's dead. 12. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You should go in, you should go in. Five, four, three. He's dead. I do a lot of damage right now. He actually popped his uh, summoners a little bit late, and so I was able to just stay on him with red buff. So that double buffs it increases my damage by like a shitload. A metric shitload. I don't know how you measure that, but by a lot. Let's see if he can't break this lemon. Lemon's doing a great job of roaming, by the way. And maybe he lost lane, but he's doing a great job of being able to recover other lanes for people. The good thing about uh talent is that actually he can whatchamacallit. He can push towers pretty fast. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, so I have, a, I have a ton of gold right now. Uh, I have enough for straight cleaver. Because I was considering it because they have much armor. Go ahead and farm this out. See, there's not much farm middle. And so I, I know I can just take this Wraith Camp and back out. Like, I'm not working around a Dragon Timer either, so... <laughs> What the heck? Eve's the jungler, you should be telling me when the drag timer is. An ally has been slain. Oh, man. So, Popo has Zanyas now, okay. Oh, I'm so slow. If I had a dragon timer, holy shit, I would crush this. Uh, God, that taunt is so good. That's like the my favorite uh, back animation. Look at this pea shooter. She literally does no damage. Uh, Caitlyn really she has a one item spike and a four item spike, and her one item spike only happens if, if she's ahead of the other AD. So, unfortunately, Caitlyn's gonna be quite weak for a little bit. Hmm, I don't want to stay mid. I, there's a chance I can get picked off. Excuse me. Oh my god. Ugh. 
That was my bad. That was so bad. That was like such a bad initiation by Hi. Yeah, I got Bane to go back in. That was ugh, terrible by me. Whoops. It's not too bad of a loss for me for us, but geez. I got that was like a big swing for them. I lost quite a bit for that. Like seriously, Kaylin does no damage. Like I would not expect Kaylin to do damage. I have Mobius. Please speed me. Holy shit. It's a really, really nice buff there. No, <laughs> no, that was really good by Aurelia, though. I know she didn't plan it, but we were able to get convert kills and get some gold. Alright, red buff, too. Come out mid. Okay. And so when I ever I do my combo, uh, I have Cleaver now, which is gonna help a lot during our AD, very a AD centric team. Because right now most of them should just be stacking armor. Uh, for people who see, like, there's certain talent players in Soy Killcast that both go. Uh, what's the item? Ghost Blade. No, no, like, yeah, Ghost Blade. Uh, I think the item's great, especially in 1v1 uh, variations, because it, it's just better 1v1. But Cleaver's better for team-oriented stuff, uh, and so I opted for Cleaver this this fight, or this game. It doesn't mean that Yomuz isn't good, I just decided for another, another option. Holy moly. I don't want to do defensive wards because we're ahead. You bought. Okay. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm really squishy with this build, by the way. But I can definitely burst out anyone. Ooh, nice. Oh god, he ran past it. Go ahead and sweep this. Very blew up. There's nowhere to hide. What do you think the chances are that I kill this guy instantly? I think pretty high. I never compromise. We shouldn't stay. Yeah. A little bit risky for us to do anything. Right now I'm gonna finish off my Hydra here and then go back around for other stuff. I don't think we should come out. No, no reason for me to wait. Okay. I wish I had a slow for that. I would have actually stayed on him if I could slow him. Ooh, he has damage now. Oh, he's almost hit his last whisper spike. As soon as he hits that, we're really good to go. Especially now that Thurster's got nerfed, I, I don't go Thurster in my build anymore. You just see, I just do a lot of different variations of, uh... Okay, I'm gonna go mid. Okay. 
seems quite interesting. Yeah, this Elise is probably dead. Don't really think I'm, I'm a, a fan of chasing that. Oh shit, drags up. He healed. F. That's actually a lot of damage. Yeah, that. Whew. Is that stealth bomber? Stealth bomber. What oh, the beast? Uh, and I think right now the best thing I, I can get is just uh, GA. Nice, nice. I have Mobies right now, and you see, I finished off my Hydra just because um. I think it's better to do that than get a GA. Although, honestly, the GA would have been really nice without finishing it off. Uh, I just really kind of wanted this to stink, so I've been, I get chipped a lot now. Yep. Pretty sure none of this is worth it. Oh, God. Level 16. Think. Oh, uh, no, 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 fine. No, 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 no. We don't have. I really don't want to be fighting this. If they do initiate on us here, then we just get bombed. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm here. <laughs> Get they're dead. I had to make sure to get the priority target back there. Yeah, as soon as they cut there with a stack, I was like, I was so happy. I was like, holy shit, they did it. That's all mine. And that's what happens when you cut that way. And you're an assassin that's 11 and 2. Don't really have much of a way to... That's fine. Since he gave me a shield, I'm actually pretty... Fun. Oh, he has a death cap. What? It's fine. I guess the Talon does a pretty good job against these. Pop both my pots here. Okay. Six, four, three, two, one. Oh my! Uh, I didn't get it. Yeah, I lost mine. Uh, Alright, GG. Unfortunately, two second, full two seconds stun is really, really strong.